feel like I need to take my socks off for this video. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Halusk, and I'm still on my trip when I film this video. I am currently in Ireland, which is kind of weird because I'm a Canadian girl trying British sweets while in Ireland. Whatever, I don't care. Anyways, uh, excuse the lighting because I am in a hotel room. Um, there is a man across the way who I don't know if he's working or what, but he kind of has his like phone up like he looks like he's recording me and I can't really tell. There's also a smoking area across the way, so there's like a few people out there now and then. I haven't filmed a main channel video in so long, I feel like I forget how to do it. All right, one of the biggest things that I wanted to do coming to the UK was to try British sweets. I wanted to do this video when I went to the States, but the States and Canada have a lot of crossover. A lot of things are the exact same with different names or it's just like the exact same. So I was kind of at a loss with that, but I uh, uh, have this bag <laughs> from Tesco. Um, I have a lot of things and I have a lot of things from um, Scotland. I started this journey in Scotland. I feel like I'm crooked. Like, I feel like my camera is not level. I don't know if that made a difference. <laughs> um, anyways, I started collecting sweets in Scotland and I think the last time I picked anything up I was in um, Brighton. I only picked up something that was a double of something I already had, knowing I wanted to take it home and share it with some of the people that I know would like it. So, I picked up things from Tesco, Poundland, um, Sainsbury's, and Co-op. So, yeah, I got, I got some loot. <laughs> Like, I kind of want to just dump it out on camera, but at the same time, I feel like that's just like... Oh, man. <laughs> There's something on my face. Like, what is this? Is this something else? Why is... That shouldn't even be in here. That's a bag of nuts. <laughs> I don't yeah. Okay, well. Maybe I'll just dump it into my lap then. Some of this stuff might be broken too, because it's been in my suitcase for like three weeks. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Um, I don't even know like where to start here. I feel like sweets will kind of maybe taint my palette, I guess. So I think I should do all the chocolate stuff first and then the sweet stuff afterwards. Okay, I don't know what it is. Every single time Dave FaceTimes me, my Netflix starts playing. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just organize this stuff real quick to, like, figure out, I guess, like, what I, I want to eat and try. I don't know. <laughs> so now that I've taken my thumbnail photos and kind of arranged them how I would like to maybe eat them, uh, let's get started. So we obviously have Bueno in Canada. This, however, is, oh no. I am on autofocus for my face, so let me just change that or else you guys aren't gonna see what I have. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I also deleted some footage, I don't know why. Anyways, so we obviously have Bueno in Canada, but I have never seen a white chocolate Bueno. And I have a feeling it's totally been destroyed in my suitcase. So... Actually, that's not too bad. Oh, look at it. That looks very pretty. Um, there is like 
What is on the outside? Is it like crushed hazelnuts or is it crushed? It doesn't say. It just says white chocolate covered wafer with smooth, milky, and hazelnut filling. But it doesn't say what's on the outside, which is like the most messy looking part of it. Um, uh, oh my God. Guys, I'm scared. Maybe I should bring the trash over here. The white chocolate. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Moving on. This is broken. <laughs> um, Yorkie, which I have never heard of. What is it? It literally doesn't say. All right, I guess we're just gonna, of course I opened it on the wrong side. Opened it on the bigger side, that's not, oh. There's two more that are in the bag. <laughs> um, It's, I think, is it Nestle? This one's made by Nestle, yeah. Yeah, it just tastes like an, it just tastes like a normal chocolate bar. It tastes like our chocolate though. I watched a video where um, a Brit brings like a giant bag, like giant bag. I pretty much only was able to go to like Tesco Express. She lives like somewhere just a little bit outside of like really busy area so she had like a full tesco and she brought like a giant bag for her american friend to do a video like this and she brought her a kit kat i tried the kit kats here they are different they definitely are the chocolate is just a little bit more rich i guess i want to say um that tastes like our chocolate that could just kind of taste like it was boring. That was just kind of boring. Now, Dave told me he's had one of these. I don't know if he said that we have them in Canada or not, but this hit broke. <laughs> this is a flake. Um, I saw one. Make sure I open it. actually kind of broke in the middle. I saw, um, I think at an ice cream shop, they were putting these in. Oh, oh it's like falling apart. Um, so I kind of know what it looked like because they were putting them in like the ice cream scoops. I guess you could pay for it. Hey Ben, come here. So I don't make a huge mess. Yeah, it kind of looks like bark. Like, you see that? Like it, it definitely has been squished in my bag, but it kind of looks like bark. It's just like layered chocolate. on my hand. I'm gonna wipe it on the carpet. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's literally, it's flaky. I mean, I guess that's the point. I don't think I like that. Or there's nothing bad. It's just like, it has a weird aftertaste. It's just kind of like chalky. Chalky. That's pretty much all I've got. Now, <laughs> this I think definitely melted in my bag because it's like i don't know this is a double decker duo so i actually don't think it's broken i think there's one of each in here i think there's two um so it's nougat top and crispy bottom in cadbury milk chocolate but it it feels like it melted in my bag i don't know why it hasn't been that hot and like my suitcase is always in the hotel rooms Ugh, guys, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> It's 
it's not that it's melted. It got squished, so all the nougat got like shoved out of the. Oh, look! <laughs> oh, all the nougat got like pushed out of the bar because it got squished in my suitcase. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god! It like literally got mangled. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it got squished. Oh well. Mm. I had literally in this whole like fiasco forgotten that there was like a crispy bottom on it. There's like... This reminds me of something. This reminds me of something and I can't put my finger on what it is. I can't, I can't tell what it is, but it definitely it reminds me of something. Oh, I'm making a mess. Not bad. I don't hate it though, but it does. It reminds me of something. Hopefully it'll come to me and I'll write it somewhere in here. All right, I have heard a lot about these hobnobs. I think I've seen these in a lot of like, whoever tries British sweets. And it's a flapjack topped with milk chocolate. So it's rolled oats baked with crushed hobnob biscuit pieces. So I guess hobnobs are like a biscuit which I did pick up some biscuits and then proceeded to like eat them all before I even did this video. This, th yeah, this is weird. It literally is like rolled oats baked. Oh, it's, it's broken too. Like it is, that's not really what I was expecting. gonna lie it's like a really really bad I feel like we have something like this I don't like this no it doesn't really have a flavor it just tastes like an oatmeal not even a cookie like it just it makes me think of breakfast but like not in a good way. Like I eat apple cinnamon oatmeal. And if I wanted an oatmeal cookie, I'd have oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. That's going into bin. <laughs> All right, I think this is melted. Payday! Who doesn't love payday? Um, Peanut caramel bar? I like peanuts. Oh yeah, it got a little mangled. Got a wee bit mangled. The peanuts are like falling off. Oh, they're salty. It's like an O. Henry without chocolate. Yeah. It's just an O. Henry's without chocolate. And the peanuts are salty. I like that. Toffee crisp. So, what is this? I think I got this because I was like, oh, toffee, like I like toffee. Ooh, it's an individual bars too, which is good, so. I did promise Dave I would bring some things back for him, and he's like, do it when you get home so that it's not stale. Whatever. Whatever, you get what you get. <laughs> Just kidding, love you. <laughs> okay, like it kind of looks like a Mars or a Snickers. Mm. 
Snickers have peanuts in it. It's very much like a Mars. But it's got like this crunchy bit. I do like these. It's literally the exact same as the Double Decker, except it's made with like a toffee caramel instead of a nougat. But I actually really like this. I will be bringing these home. All right, now these ones I am not entirely sure about. It does say milk chocolate with a caramel center. So, uh, curly really? Is that upside down? Oh, there you go. Apparently there's five in here. Oh. <laughs> Probably something else that got squished in my suitcase. Oh. What? That is not what I was expecting. That just looks like a... Mmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. It's literally just caramel. That pretty much got piped in that shape and drizzled in chocolate. Mmm. Yes. This is like, um, milk duds. That's what it reminds me of. It literally reminds me of milk duds in like some stick form. Mmm. Yes. 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 Oh my god, these are my favorite so far. This is dark chocolate, almond, and honey nougat. Um, it's huge. It's called Twin Peaks. Um, like, I don't really know what to expect here. Oh my god, it's like a Toblerone. It's like a Toblerone. That is really interesting. Okay, that makes sense. Almonds and honey nougat. Except I, apparently when you break a Toblerone, you're supposed to like break it into each other. Like, is that gonna work? No. No, I broke it like halfway down. You know what? Screw it. It's a dark chocolate Toblerone. I feel like I have chocolate all over my face. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. It's a dark chocolate Toblerone. Now, these we obviously have back home. Um, I don't think we have this flavor back home. Chocolate and orange Kit Kat Chunky. So I really hope that these are individually. Yes. I just got a huge whiff of orange. Oh, they smell like orange. Oh, they're so little. Oh my God, they're so cute. I feel like I need to cleanse that dark chocolate out of there though. This is adorable. You can really smell the orange. Chocolate crumbs all over my jeans. <laughs> I actually don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't really know if I can say that I really like it. It's weird. All right, guys, that's it for the chocolate stuff. So now we're on to the sweet stuff. I gotta rinse all that chocolate out. So I don't like licorice, but I like Twizzlers pull and peels and I really liked sour nibs, except I'm pretty sure they discontinued them. So these are fizzy strawberry licorice straws or sorry, lances. I'm pretty sure I read that as laces for the first time I picked it up and that makes more sense to me. What's a lance? Mm. Yeah, they're sour. I really like them though. I really like these. Um, these are called randoms, and it literally says more random than a monkey playing saxophone with a llama on it. I don't really even know what these are. 
pick these? Are they just like a like a, a fruit snack? Oh, they're like Haribo's. Is that how you pronounce it? Like, and they are very random. I don't even. I don't even know what this is. Is that is that a purse? I can't, I can't tell. <laughs> like some of them are just like that thicker, less jelly-like. Some of them are, are the two of them together. And some of them are just the, the gummy. I don't know, what is that? Like, I literally can't tell what these shapes are. That one's a pretzel. That one's a snowflake. I'm not gonna try ice cream. Not a fan of the ones that aren't the, the gummies. These ones are a little weird. Also guys, the reason I didn't get Haribo's is because we have them in Canada. And I've been pretty much eating them the entire time I've been here. <laughs> now, we have wine gums in Canada. And I got wine gums on the ferry yesterday. And they are a little different. However, we do not have these wine gums in Canada. Mocktails. Um, Strawberry daiquiri flavor, pina colada flavor, and a Cuba Libre flavor. So, I'm gonna try these. I'm gonna see if I can't get one of each. I need a red one. Okay. So, Cuba Libre. I feel like it's gonna be a very Coca-Cola like one. And it just tastes like a wine gum. Like it literally just tastes like a generic wine gum. Pina colada. That one honestly I think had less flavor than the first one. And this one's strawberry daiquiri. Mmm, I was getting a coconutty bit there at the very end of the pina colada. There's a bit of a strawberry taste to these. They're really bland. Like, it doesn't really taste like anything, to be honest. Like, I'm not really blown away by it. And I love wine gums. I don't know. I think I prefer ours. I really hope these aren't gum because <laughs> I hate things like that. Um, these are called pinballs. And apparently they have a zingly tingly center and they're super chewy. Sorry, mom. Like, I don't really know. Definitely not gum, though. Oh, what do they remind me of? Kind of reminds me of like Mentos, like the fruity ones. But Mentos taste better. Like these are super chewy, but it's like gritty inside almost. Like, like it's trying to be gum and it just, it can't. This one's kind of sour. Do you see that like brownish looking one? Apparently it's fruit and cola. I don't think I want a cola flavored one after I had a fruit flavored one. That just seems really gross. Also, I don't like cola, so I'm not gonna try it. Now, the last two are things that we have in Canada. Though, we do not have these flavors, nor do we have the style of the one that I'm leaving for last. So, obviously, we have Starburst. And you'll see up here, it says original. However, these are an orange, strawberry, 
lemon lime, and black carrot or black currant. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, I feel like I've heard it pronounced both ways. So obviously we have, I think ours are strawberry, orange, lemon, and well, we have a, a red and a pink. Off the top of my head, I actually can't remember what our Starburst original flavors are. Oh no, it's, um, yeah, it's strawberry, cherry, lemon, and orange, isn't it? So this is strawberry, orange, lemon, lime, and black currant, which I think is just a grape, isn't it? All right, let's try lemon, lime. Oh, oh. Package is green, Starburst is white. <laughs> get behind that. Now the orange. The orange is my least favorite back home. The orange I normally, I feel like their their packaging is like less plasticky than ours. This looks like one that you'd find in like the tropical ones. So. I think that has a more of an orange flavor than ours. Like it just, has a stronger orange like essence to it. Yeah, I definitely think that their wrapper is more paper. Again, this like, like is there some like no artificial coloring or something to this? Because like packaging, Starburst, like ours are like so colorful. Hmm. That's really strawberry. I approve. Now to try the one that we definitely don't have back home. Black currant. I'm assuming it's a grape. Like I'm, I'm assuming. Again. I don't think I don't think I like that's not great. That's not great. It almost has like a fizzy taste to it. It's it's weird. What is a black currant? Black currant is a woody shrub. Oh, it's so it's a berry and it's native to parts of northern Europe. Okay, so it like it's in the blackberry blueberry family. That's really the only way I could describe it. Was well, like I can't tell if the taste is blackberry or blueberry. And it almost has this weird like fizz taste to it. Like a carbonated taste if that makes any sense to anybody. That is how it tastes. But we're on to like I, I I'm assuming I can't say I saved the best for last because I don't actually know. But these are definitely something that we have in Canada, just not like this. These are Skittles without a shell. And they've been like sticking together in the packages in my bag. So I looked it up online. Apparently they literally can't tell if people enjoy them or not. <laughs> they have them in orange, lime, lemon but they have it in black currant and strawberry which i don't think ours are black currant or strawberry i think one our green used to be apple bless when they went to apple i hate that they went back to lime i hate it uh we definitely have grape so again off the top of my head i can't remember I don't think it is. It's not, right? Like in Canada, the red one's not strawberry. It definitely isn't strawberry. It's cherry, right? 
like I I can't remember <laughs> I can't remember all right guys we're going in like I want to have one of each obviously oh my god oh Oh, this was not what I was expecting. Can you guys see that? What? What is this? Like, that, oh, that is not what I was expecting. Oh, they're sticky. Okay. They're really pale in color. Okay. Yeah, like these, this looks like soap. That's what it looks like. Does it not look like it's like soap? Like it has that weird like sheen to it. It kind of looks like it could be like candle wax. It looks really waxy. All right. Lemon, oh. Tastes true to the way it does back home. Basically, it's like you know you're eating a Skittle, but it has the texture of the Starburst Minis. Lime, pretty true to it is back on. Orange is the same. I'm gonna try the black carrot first in case I don't like it, then I can wash it down with the strawberry. <laughs> I still can't tell if I like it, but I think I like it more as a Skittle than I do as a Starburst. Now the last one, strawberry. I didn't find that that had a very strawberry taste. Try one more. The black carrot is really powerful. It's not a heavy strawberry taste. I think I prefer the strawberry in the Starburst, but I prefer the black currant in the Skittles. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I was expecting to like a lot more of this stuff. And I definitely want to make sure I pick up a regular Kit Kat bar to bring home because I told Dave that they do taste kind of different. So I want to make sure that he tries it. But pretty excited with my haul. I am so glad I discovered these. These are my favorite. The Curly Whirlies definitely have my whole heart. I am in love with these. These are my favorite. I am a little bummed by these Skittles Chewies and by the Starburst. I think I just, no, that's a lie. I am the most bummed by the wine gums, so. By no fault of any of the things that got squished in my luggage over the last three weeks. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I have a few travel things in the works, a blog post, some videos based on my travels. And obviously, because while I'm filming this, I'm still in Dublin. So I have four days left of my trip though this will go up when I'm already back home. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I will leave a link at the end of this video to the entire UK trip playlist. If you guys were not watching my daily vlogs, you can go over there, pick a few that you might wanna watch or watch all of them. All of my social media is in the description box below. As always, I'm sure when this video goes up, I will still be trying to filter through and post some of my photography photos on my photography Instagram because Lightroom is not being kind to me right now. But make sure you follow my everyday Instagram to see 
what I'm up to on the regs. <laughs> and I will unfortunately be back at work when this video goes up. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with a new video. I have tattoo stuff in the work. I have travel videos in the works. Like a haul from the UK video is definitely going to come after this one. So make sure you guys are subscribed. You can click on my face at the end of the video or you can click on the little red button that I think is down there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm your girl Howlesk. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye!